The MiG-25 Foxbat and the SR-71 Blackbird are two legendary aircraft from the Cold War era, representing the pinnacle of aviation technology from the Soviet Union and the United States. Although they are now considered older aircraft, they remain iconic due to their unmatched speed and altitude capabilities. The MiG-25 first entered service with the Soviet Air Force in 1970, designed to counter high-speed, high-altitude threats like the SR-71 and American bombers. Meanwhile, the SR-71 Blackbird was inducted into the United States Air Force earlier, in 1966, as a dedicated long-range reconnaissance aircraft built to gather intelligence deep into enemy territory at speeds that made interception nearly impossible. And today we will compare two of these legends, Soviet's MiG-25 Foxbat and America's SR-71 Blackbird. Coming to the design first, the Foxbat measures 23.82 meters in length, with a wingspan of 13.38 meters, its height reaches 6.1 meters, making it relatively compact for an aircraft capable of such high speeds. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 36,720 kilograms, which reflects its lighter structure, optimized for short, high-speed interceptions rather than prolonged flight durations. On the other hand, the SR-71 is significantly larger, with a length of 32.74 meters and a wingspan of 16.94 meters. Its height is slightly less than the MiG-25 at 5.64 meters. However, the SR-71's maximum takeoff weight is much greater at 77,000 kilograms, reflecting the additional fuel and equipment it needs for long-range reconnaissance missions. Due to the SR-71's larger design and greater payload, it outshines the MiG-25 in this section. Talking about range and altitude, the MiG-25 was built for high-altitude interceptions and could reach a maximum altitude of 24,000 meters during its flight. Its operational range was relatively limited, covering about 1,200 kilometers without external fuel tanks. On the other hand, the SR-71 was designed for long-range reconnaissance missions, it could cruise at altitudes of over 26,000 meters, allowing it to fly above most missile and radar systems, its range was significantly greater than the MiG-25, reaching approximately 5,400 kilometers without refueling. So when considering altitude and range, the SR-71 clearly dominates this aspect. Let's talk about speed. The MiG-25 could reach impressive speeds, with a maximum recorded speed of Mach 2.83, which is about 3,000 km per hour. In some extreme cases, it could push this speed to Mach 3.2, but doing so would cause severe damage to its engines, often leading to their replacement after such high-speed flights. On the other hand, the SR-71 was built to cruise at even higher speeds, capable of maintaining Mach 3.2 which is around 3,540 km per hour for long durations without damaging its engines. This sustained speed was a key advantage, allowing the SR-71 to fly reconnaissance missions at high speeds for hours, outpacing both enemy aircraft and missiles. Therefore, with its ability to sustain higher speeds over time, the SR-71 takes the win here. When we talk about engines and propulsion, MiG-25's two Tumansky R-15B 300 turbojet engines generate a total thrust of around 100 kN per engine when using afterburners, giving the aircraft a combined thrust of 200 kN. However, this comes with a limitation as pushing the engines to their extreme could cause damage, particularly at speeds beyond Mach 3.2. The thrust-to-weight ratio of the MiG-25 is approximately 0.57 meaning that the engines provide just over half the thrust needed to match the aircraft's weight. In comparison, the SR-71 Blackbird's Pratt & Whitney J-58 engines are more advanced and generate a total thrust of about 144 kN per engine. For a combined thrust of 288 kN, despite being heavier, the SR-71 achieves a slightly better thrust-to-weight ratio of approximately 0.44, which is lower than the MiG-25. The unique design of the J-58 engines, with their ability to operate in both turbojet and ramjet modes, significantly enhances their performance at higher speeds. While the MiG-25 has a higher thrust-to-weight ratio, the SR-71's engine versatility makes it more reliable and efficient for its role. Let's speak about payload capacity. The MiG-25's payload capacity focused on carrying lightweight missiles rather than heavy bombs or other equipment, 
the aircraft's role and design limit its overall payload capacity to around 2,000 kg, suitable for its intended role. In contrast, the SR-71 was not designed to carry traditional weaponry or combat payloads, its primary function was reconnaissance, meaning its payload was the advanced equipment used for intelligence gathering. It could carry up to 340 kilograms of cameras, sensors, and electronic surveillance gear in its fuselage, because the MiG-25 can carry more weight in terms of combat payload, MiG-25 wins this section. Talking about radar and avionics, the MiG-25 was equipped with the RP-25 Smirch A radar, a powerful but relatively simple system for its time. This radar is capable of detecting targets at distances of up to 100 kilometers. It was particularly effective against large, high-altitude targets, but the radar system was limited by its lack of flexibility in low-altitude engagements and its vulnerability to electronic countermeasures. In contrast, the SR-71 did not have a traditional radar system for target detection, as it was not designed for combat engagements. Instead, it featured advanced electronic and defensive electronic countermeasures systems to evade radar detection. The ANALQ-71 and ANALQ-87 jamming pods, along with other radar jamming technologies, allowed the SR-71 to spoof enemy radar systems, further enhancing its stealth capabilities. With its superior electronic warfare systems, the SR-71 take advantage in this section. When we talk about stealth features, the MiG-25 was not designed with stealth in mind, it was a high-speed interceptor, and its large radar cross-section made it relatively easy to detect by enemy radar. The aircraft's large airframe, along with its massive air intakes and engines, contributed to its poor radar visibility. The Foxbat's design prioritized speed and altitude over radar stealth. On the other hand, the SR-71 Blackbird was a pioneer in stealth technology. Despite being developed before modern stealth aircraft like the F-117 or B-2, the SR-71 featured a small radar cross-section of just 0.1 square meters. Additionally, its high altitude and extreme speed gave it natural stealth, as even if detected, it could evade interception by simply flying faster than enemy missiles could reach. In terms of stealth, the SR-71 is clearly the superior aircraft. Talking about weapons, the MiG-25 Foxbat could carry four air-to-air -air missiles in total usually two long-range and two short-range missiles. Its main weapon was the R-40AA-6 Acrid missile, a long-range missile capable of reaching targets up to 50 kilometers away. Additionally, it could carry short-range missiles like the R-60AA-8 Aphid, which were used for closer combat situations, but the MiG-25 did not have the capability to carry bombs or ground attack weapons, as it was not designed for air-to-ground combat. The SR-71 Blackbird, on the other hand, was a pure reconnaissance aircraft and was not designed to carry any weapons. Its mission was to gather intelligence, not to engage in combat. Instead of carrying missiles or bombs, the SR-71 was equipped with advanced reconnaissance equipment, including cameras, radar, and electronic intelligence systems. So, in terms of weapons, MiG-25 wins here. Let's talk about the cost now. The estimated unit cost of the MiG-25 was around $18 million in today's dollars, which was affordable given its simpler construction and mass production. Its airframe relied heavily on steel rather than more expensive materials like titanium, helping keep costs lower. On the other hand, the SR-71 was an extremely expensive aircraft due to its cutting-edge technology and specialized design. The cost of each SR-71 was approximately $34 million at the time of production, which translates to over $300 million in today's dollars, accounting for inflation. Therefore, in terms of cost-effectiveness, MiG-25 takes the lead here. Though, neither aircraft is currently in active service, the SR-71 was retired in 1998 due to advances in satellite technology while the MiG-25 was officially retired by the Russian Air Force in 2013, having been replaced by more modern fighters like the MiG-31, though some countries continued using it in limited numbers even after the Soviet Union's collapse. While both aircraft are now part of aviation history, their legacies remain significant, as they pushed the boundaries of speed, altitude, and technological innovation. Which aircraft do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, 
and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.